Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BFL Reacts. Damn, that sun do be rising though. Very bright. <laughs> Today we're looking at the season 1 finale to DuckTales. Last time we had the very great uh, The Last Suncatcher episode, which split up Scrooge and everyone else. Uh, I love that episode, especially the ending. And I gave my predictions there. I'm guessing Scrooge is going to get captured, everyone's going to come together to save him. Maybe some Della stuff? I'm not quite sure. I don't think she's dead. Uh, pretty sure we'll see her this finale, and if not this finale, then definitely next season. It, it Quite frankly, it would blow me away if she's actually dead. <laughs> not too much to say, except that after this, I'm going to be looking forward to season two. So let's go ahead and wrap up season one. I'm starting part one of The Shadow War, Night of Dispel. I'm going to talk about my impressions on part one and then hop into part two in this episode after we finish watching part one, that is. So let's go ahead and get into it. Louis, pull your weight. Um, I'm stabilizing Grunt's lift. <laughs> Leader stabilized. <laughs> wow. Can't believe they're moving back. That's definitely not permanent. And they shattered everything in there. <laughs> Scrooge isn't that old and selfish. <laughs> okay, but in the most lovable way. It is lovable. Doesn't look particularly appetizing. Oh, they are ducks. Maybe they should like that. <laughs> well, we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking maybe she'd love it. Big day. Magic a real big day. Oh, my God. Oh, fight for control, girl. Let me go. Love the black in the eyes. Such a cool visual. My powers will finally unleash. And I'll be an invincible juggernaut of dark magic! Blah blah blah, shut up. And she's back in. Now that you've gained the trust of Scrooge's brats, I can use your body to get inside the house. Then I'll weaken Scrooge with this. Wait, is her plan gonna be messed up because the family's not there and Scrooge is secluded again? I'm not here to check on you on account of everyone moving out because the boys blame you for launching their mom into space and orphaning them. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Ice cream. I'm supposed to get my evil, evil vengeance. Yo, why the animation so good right now? No, I will defeat Scrooge McDuck. They got that season finale budget, dude. I'm the stuff of nightmares lurking in the hidden recesses of your mind. I am. Jesus Christ! Launchpad is a menace. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. All right. I just have to convince Scrooge that I'm a typical little girl. <laughs> no, that's so out of character for her. It is, mister. It's me, that insufferable whelp, Lena. It's really over-animated, and I love it. Leave me alone forever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorceress of the shadows and the world's greatest adventurer, Scrooge Mc... Oh, man's not looking so great. <laughs> That voice coming out of her body with that fit is so goofy. <laughs> it's just all junk. Yeah. No way, bro. Dewey ain't throwing his shit away, is he? Oh my god. I meant Louie. <sighs> Goodbye. I knew he was gonna keep it, man's too greedy. <laughs> that thing's worth so much money! And he always gets over. <laughs> He's so trying to swim out there for it. No, oh my god, love it. They blame Scrooge for their mom's disappearance. They're not moving They're away. Moving no, no. We got two more seasons. Will Dewey and I still be friends? Who will I call for <laughs> advice? Do they have phones in Cape Suzette? I love this this duo we have here. I don't feel like we've seen too much of them alone together. Bro, well, this looks like my house. Ooh. Scrooge! That sad sack of feathers is not Scrooge. It is, though. <laughs> oh my god, threw a bird at her. Oh, he's sharing. 
This is all a trick. Yes, that's it, of course. He senses something. He's trying to convince me. He's a pathetic loser, hoping I'll make a mistake. This girl, she is coping hard right now. Cope and seize Magicka. Meet the new Dewey, the dashing debonair yachtsman of Cape Suzette. It's a good look. I fancy do like it. Shoes. Pain worth it for the fancy boat shoes. <laughs> oh, a note. Oh, that's gotta be Webby and Launchpad, huh? Hubert, Duford, and Lou Frumfrum. You are cordially invited <laughs> to your own dining room for a dinner full of heartwarming memories and surprises, question mark? Will you attend? Yay or nay? <laughs> oh, they're going. Cool, cool. They're coming! Woo! <laughs> Gee, I wonder who's behind this. Damn, Webby! Free food! I'll be there. Free food's all you needed to but say, I'll eat man. The finest lobster caviar canapes, and make sure no one starts eating until I get there, as I consider it the height of rudeness. Oh, <laughs> yeah, get, get generous with the application, girl. That way, if you screw this or not, you don't got a chance. Damn. Oh. Oh, they have a hideout. Aww. Sweet, playful marbles. The marbles. An ungrateful a lot of them every turn. After all I did for them, but they just threw it in my face. Oh, come on, Scrooge. They disobey you, run you ragged, don't follow through on elaborate revenge plots. Wow, Magicka. <laughs> Forget family. Who needs them? I'll drink to that. No. Yes. Of all the idiotic. I mean, I'll go make you another. <laughs> Didn't she use all of it though? Maybe she had another vial. Family teeny, old family recipe. Tastes like the loving embrace of family. I hope it's virgin. Are these melted popsicles in cups? <laughs> I brought ambrosia salad. That sounds gross. <laughs> yeah, Webby said I need a drink to cope with that. Let's each say what about a particular relative of ours. <clears throat> Boys? Oh my goodness. Uh, I'll go with Gas Uncle each other up. Well, he's devoted to his family, unlike others. Oh, is it all just gonna be subtle Scrooge japs? Don't forget passionate. Aww. Like a sailor get up. Oh. This is a parent trap, isn't it? You're trying to manufacture sentiment to force Scrooge and the boys to come together against their will. What? No. What? No. Oh, she's in on it. This family won't come together. We'll have to do it for them. Yay! Thank you, Beakley. I love it. Tea. This time in a convenient no spill cup. Oh my god. How's that tea? He, does he know? Like my life. Oh my god. Oh my word, it's not a trap. He's actually become this pathetic. Oh wow, she's finally realizing. This is not how I pictured killing you in my head for the last 15 years. Toughen up, man. You conquered Plain Awful. You found the last crown of the Mongols. Okay, you're hyping them up. Are you sure that's what you want to do? You're Scrooge McDuck. Act like it. I am Scrooge McDuck. I was adventuring before them. No one helped me then, and I don't need help now. Uh, bad mindset. <laughs> it's so we've top hat. <gasps> He's gonna throw away his first dime. Yes, yes, I don't need anything. Not even your number one dime. Well, that's crazy. Of course, I need my dime. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, I thought he was gonna burn it. I'll throw it away for you. Why would a young lass be so interested in getting her hands on my old number one dime? Also, why have you been speaking in three voices around me the entire time you've been here? Oh what shit! The, have you gone daft? <laughs> have you gone daft? <laughs> Child. Oh my god. <laughs> Get her, Scrooge! <laughs> oh shit. Oh, magic is about to be real, bro. What? Why is there a picture of her on the dime? Oh, there she is. Oh, cool. I like her look. Free my form from the abyss. I love her look. The Shadow Queen, behold again! The Shadow Queen? I might stand. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hello, Scroogey. I've missed you. Ask your housekeeper's granddaughter's new best friend. You have a confusing <laughs> family structure, you know that. Yes. 
the found family structure. Apple shortbread pie with a scoop of sea salt ice cream. Bro, that looks good as hell. I'm getting hungry. This was Scrooge's favorite dessert. Oh, I don't want to remind you of that horrid man who lost your mother all those years ago. Beakley doing nice. For him up for 10 years, propelling him into a desperate search attempt that left him broken and nearly bankrupt. Jesus Christ, Beakley. Laying it on thick. That will definitely fix it. No, it'll do the opposite of that. Perhaps it's worth considering that the <sighs> reason he closed himself off was because the loss of Della was the hardest thing he'd ever faced. Harder than any adventure. This is a hell of a speech. I'm loving it. But I'm just the housekeeper. What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? This lady knows a lot! <laughs> Launchpad, dude. <laughs> What's she doing? She's just chilling, vibing in the air. She's my aunt. She made me do it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, she got locked up. Clearly, they're not on good terms, Scrooge. Please, your family is amazing. You fight and get into trouble, but it doesn't matter because you, I don't know, love each other or something. Yay, Lena. I love this. This is going to get through to Scrooge, kid. You're right, lass. Yes, yeah, she is. My family back, and you'll have a place in it. Oh, I love it. All stronger together. Dude, I hope nothing happens to Lena at the end of this episode. Uh, let's, ooh. Oh, shit. Sorry, I was just watching you rally for triumphant comeback. <laughs> Possessed again? What the fuck? Did she send Lena into like a shadow realm or some shit? So Lena is Magicka's shadow now? We're going to Cape Suzette with our real family, and that's that. Right real family. No, don't. Donald knows what's good. You go, Donald. See, like I said last time, Donald had come far with Scrooge. You forgave him. Come together. Wait, 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 but, but, but the spear and he's mom. Too, yeah, he's too stubborn. And... Let go, man. Look at this. Get in on this. Yes. Come on, bro. Yes. He's breaking. Yes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you want to see. Ah, fooey. <laughs> ah, that was so good, bro. <laughs> Alright, I'll try and make this discussion brief before we hop into part two. Banger. Fantastic. Uh, that episode flew by. It felt like five minutes. I think that was the fastest feeling episode in the series yet in a very good way. I love that uh, the first episode was... With it being a two-parter, I was expecting kind of a lot of action, but and I'm sure that's going to be in part two, but I'm glad it was largely absent from part one. It was dedicated mostly to the familial relationship and getting everyone in the right headspace. I love that. A lot of build-up, you know, with Helena and Magica. Uh, very curious to see how that's gonna work out. I hope like Lena doesn't get screwed over or have to sacrifice herself or something That'd be really unfortunate because I like her character. Love Magicka's design. I really like Magicka I think she's a super cool villain. I quite enjoy seeing Scrooge at the lowest of the low for him And seeing him overcome that was cool. Yep, that's it. That's all I gotta say now on to part two Let it be noted this part is called the day of the ducks cannot wait to see this <laughs> Oh, wow. She's bringing everyone's shadows to life. That's pretty evil. Oh, that's the girl from uh, the Atlantis episode, isn't it? One of Glomgold's minions. Speaking of that, it's been a while since we've seen Glomgold. I kind of want to see him this episode, even though he might not fit. Wow, dude, his shadow helped him out. Dude, Gizmo Doc to the rescue? No! Oh, no! This is bad. Oh shit. Where are you going? You're my shadow, you hear? <laughs> I love Glom Gold's energy. Oh shit. <laughs> love that we got to see a little bit of everyone there. We're still going to Cape Suzette, right? Cool, yeah, I'll start the boat. <laughs> yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it would have also been cool to see the Beagle Boy shadow, but there's so many characters, you know, we we got a little bit. That's all you need. You can't show everybody. Unless everyone comes together to help take down Magicka. 
but that might be asking too much to build up in just 20 something minutes especially when it's like a story about their family unit coming together i don't think that'll happen yikes oh you just want money you're gonna destroy all his money what's your plan here girl She's gonna redistribute the wealth. She's a hero. Oh, never mind. A vile sorceress with a mysterious ancient grudge against Clan McDuck. Thanks for the lore, Webby. But no one's seen her since they fought on Mount Vesuvius 15 years ago. Ah, uh, that's where she got trapped then, huh? Take my brother's first, please. Is this Glomgold? Who the hell is this? Oh, the horse! <laughs> oh, nice. No more underwater labs. I wasn't expecting them, to be honest. What? Did anyone get any of that? It's mostly context. Clues. We get like every third word. Nope. Completely unintelligible. <laughs> Able to translate neural impulses into sonic transmissions. <sighs> Is this? The voice box. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Tell me so long. Is this when Don Cheadle comes in? Oh. Are you mad scientist? Yeah! I've been waiting for this joke. This was what I knew about the show before coming in. For baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> wow, never been able to say that before. Oh my god, bro. I love it so fucking much. Scrooge is in trouble, and it's up to us to help him. Adventure is in our blood. We face down perilous foes and endless danger every day. <laughs> fucking Don Cheadle, dude. We need to stage a coordinated attack. Gyro, you and your team will charge the bridge <laughs> to distract Magicka Shadow Forces. <laughs> We get to see how really capable Donald Duck is when we can actually understand him. <laughs> and we will stay here and out of danger. Boo! This isn't an adventure. This is Magicka Dispel. I mean, valid, but they're the main characters. <laughs> Thank you, Don Cheadle. Team Ne'er-Do-Well who can break into anything, including your heart? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh... Yikes. Lena. 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 Right, I was gonna say Lena. Webby's gonna find out, bro. As you know, you banished me to another realm within your dime, where I've been biding my time devising your delicious downfall. So was there like a whole fucking like alternate dimension in there? Don't roll your eye at me. I've been trapped for 15 years. I'm entitled to a full minute of gloating. Well, let you go, pilot. We are ready for launch. It's a sticker. I always forget that. Let's get dangerous. Nice. <laughs> he needed that pep talk. A journal. Yikes, they're not gonna like what they see in there. You can't read her journal? Yeah, that is kind of an invasion of privacy. To end the line of Clan McDuck, she sought a token of their luck. Lo, with the eclipse in its prime, she'd trap old Scrooge within his dime? This is a poem Magica wrote, and they're gonna think it was her, aren't they? She cast a spy from her shadow. I walk the earth and wield her power to bring about McDuck's last hour. Why the fuck would Lena write this? <laughs> Wait, she, she is Magica's shadow? Wait, Magica created her? What? Too bad, now it's ice cream. Want a lick? Whoops. How does it feel? <laughs> She's so petty, dude. I love it. Sports! <laughs> Did she fucking say sports? What? <laughs> Her accuracy isn't very good. She didn't hit anybody. Look at these dudes. Where the hell they get that shit? Dude, Louie. We, <laughs> we love Scrooge again. <laughs> Oh lord, the stairs again! Love it! The Great Dime Chase was so good. Love that callback. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't stop this man from crashing. He said, the, he said it again. Third time? <laughs> that scream. Wait, who are you? Who the fuck are you? This guy is a good friend twice if he's just a work acquaintance. Damn. You're part of the B team, bruh. Get yeeted. Uh oh. Yeah, Beakley. Why am I saying uh oh like this chick don't got it? Oh, they're, they're messing my man's boat up though. 
Oh no, they're overwhelming her! Yes! <laughs> Louis. Oh no. Yo, yo, and she's got her freaking uh goggles, doesn't she? Now we can't see. Yes. Everyone hold hands and form a chain behind Webby. Dude, so many callbacks and just good continuity and shit. This is a banger finale. This is how you do a finale. Guys, ducks don't back down. I've literally never heard that family motto before today. <laughs> Get away from my kids. Oh, I was hoping you say ducks don't back down. <laughs> I told you not to come, so of course you showed up. Oh, he he knew better. So I love that. I feel like I should have seen that coming. I'll keep these palookas at bay. Ducks don't back down. <laughs> See, I told you it's a thing. It's cooler when he does it. It is cooler when Don Cheadle does it, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, <laughs> Webby. <laughs> Looking for this. Come and get it. Why would they be looking for that? They don't know that you put Scrooge in there. You just gave the game away, girl. Oh, he's trapped forever inside the thing he loves most. Okay, now you really gave it away. Dumbass. Oh no, it's going out. Next. <laughs> no, not Gizmo Duck. Oh, he's, he, but he's electric charge? Is he gonna be able to short circuit it or something? <gasps> yes! The real Gizmo Duck is here. The party. He's still trying to get that kid. <laughs> that one liner out. I love this. He's just annoying the hell out of her with questions. It's just magic. Okay. Yeah, it's just magic. <laughs> oh no, you broke the mirror of Taiki. The <gasps> ancient artifact, terrible curse if you break it. They're all playing into their strengths. I love this so much. A swift kick in the ribs. A what? Yeah, yeah Webby. <laughs> and Webby's strength is she'll just beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, that shot was kind of epic. What the fuck? Get her ass, Webby! No! B pocket coins. Boom, boom, boom! Oh shit, I'm getting too excited. <laughs> oh fuck. No bueno, no bueno. Aw, the tears. You had sleepovers with a shadow. You gave it a friendship bracelet. We know that's bullshit. She had free will. She was going against you, dumbass. The magic of friendship! I knew it was important, bro! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Get away from my best friend! Yes! You're even worse than her! You aren't my family! You are nothing! Not true. Not true. Not true. Where where'd she go? Bring her back. Shit. Oh, nice! They got it! Get her, Webby! Pull that hair! Is that Lena? What is this? What? Was this Scrooge? The, pa the power of their love brought him back? I don't know what happened there, but I'll accept it. If you hadn't attacked me, my family may well have left forever. By trying to destroy me, you sort of saved my family. Facts. Thank you, Magica. But Lena, though. Oh, he's gonna crash. Finally, he's just punching the air. My powers, they're gone. Why are you white? Sorry to crash the party. Yeah! He finally got it out. I love it so much. Huh? Never crashed to me before. <laughs> nice. But she is alive and got away, so. But Lena, though? She lives on gone. through the magic of friendship? But she sacrificed herself to save you. She'll always be with you. No. 
I mean, yeah, she will, but also she's still there? Yes. Oh, is that it? Bruh, I wanna cry. Curse me, Celts, have I missed you. Aw. <laughs> oh, Webby's on there too. Emily truly is the greatest <laughs> And now it's worn out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he covers it up. <laughs> hey, baby's first magic swim or gold swim. I've said don't drink this water. I've said magic so many times that she's on the moon, bro. Let's fucking go. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she sees her boys. Oh, what a great episode, dude. I love that. Like, actually perfect season finale. Jesus Christ. So good. Burr, burr. Do -do -do. Burr, burr. Burr, burr. Dude, that was excellent. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know what to, else to say, but um, I think it's pretty apparent from <laughs> my reactions there. I'm generally, like kind of chill and and reserved in my reactions you know i have a good time but i'm not super animated but this one oh my god i was losing my mind almost ripped my fucking headset off <laughs> that was awesome that was so good uh probably best episode in the season uh of the series so far that i've seen what a great finale um wow like the action was good the callbacks to previous episodes were good the characters were good, the music always good, visuals were good, humor was good. We got Della, she's she's so cute. I love Della already and I've had her for five seconds, dude. I don't know, dude. I didn't foresee Lena being like, not real. Is she, don't tell me, don't tell me, but is she gone forever? I, I did love uh, like one of the many callbacks in this episode, that callback to like the magic of friendship. And so Lena is living on through that, I guess, in spirit. And also very much literally so. Um, but is that it for her? Because if so, that's so sad. And I, I wish that there had been more of a send-off for her. Because I, I really did like her a lot. So I hope for more from her. I, re I truly do. Uh, but if we don't get that, then that just is what it is, I guess. You know, she, she played her part. She was important for when she was here, especially to Webby, and now she's gone. Uh, but I don't know. Seeing like that outline of her, you know, smiling at Webby, I don't know, dude. I, I'm conflicted on whether or not we'll see her again. But uh, that that scene almost got me to tear up for sure. <laughs> I haven't cried at this show yet. I don't think. I'm trying to think back, I, I don't think I have. And and seeing Scrooge, you know, uh, oh my God, all the triplet. This is going to be the the worst one of the worst discussions I've ever had for an episode because it's just all rambling and raving <laughs> which you might like if you're a fan of the show but seeing all the triplets like play to their strengths there and Webby too just Webby being badass is her strength I love that uh, to con Magica and work together and really having to give it their all to keep up with her and then Scrooge just comes out and he's so fucking suave he's so cool and they can't, e she, she could not even keep up. I love that. That was so cool. But she's still alive. She's still out there. She doesn't have magic right now, but she still has a very deep seated hatred and resentment towards Scrooge and now his whole freaking family. So, uh, I, and by the way, I'm not quite sure how Scrooge got freed, but whatever. I don't really give a fuck. That might bother me on a rewatch, but it didn't here. Um, magic. That's all you need to know, right? <laughs> Magic happened. What a fantastic finale. So, so good. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Thank you guys for joining me on my season one of DuckTales uh, journey. And I'll catch you guys with season two soon. And until then, peace. <laughs>